happy, extremely uh, cold February morning here in the VT. I figured I would uh, talk with you guys a little bit about my second album, Prince of Poverty. Um, the cover artwork was done by my wife, April, um, and uh, the back cover was a wonderful picture of me flipping off my stepson. Um, in the uh, in the album itself, uh, or I'll stick with the cover art. The cover art, I'm wearing a authentic Montgomery tartan from Scotland. And uh, seen here with my cool Dobro, my Dean Dobro. Um, on this album, uh, they'll remember my name. I'm tired of being tired, working hands. Warm Grave, which I wrote from my brother Kurt, uh, who's recently passed a couple of, a couple of years ago. Um, Don't Call Me Baby was a really cool tune that I wrote about a dream I had about Alanis Morissette. Uh, she was shooting me and telling me everything was okay. It was alright that she was doing it. But uh, Soul for Soul, that kind of love. I'll find my way home. American Fire. I'm just driving around. Ten songs recorded with Joe Clapp at Ultrasound Studios. Um, this was just a blast to make. After I finished the Gravel Church, it was a quick email to Joe saying, "Hey, want to do another one?" And he was like, "Let's do it." Um, this was kind of we were getting post-pandemic at this point. This was 2021 and uh, the end of 2021. I released Gravel Church the beginning of 2021, so these were only six months apart, like Irish twins, you know. So uh, anyway, it was a uh, it was a cool record, um, and it was uh, it was still part of the healing process that began with the Gravel Church. Um, but this one uh, was geared a little bit more towards um, some of my employment. Um, you know, there was uh, I've always had a very difficult time understanding the disconnect between employer and employee in the United States. Um, both equally um, dependent on each other, but for some odd reason, this kind of like divide as far as class is concerned um, happens. But uh, the big hit on this is that kind of love. I was able to uh, incorporate the, uh, the phrase Appalachian Girls um, into a song. The word Appalachian is not easy to say and make sound cool, but um, I made it happen. Um, my wife and I had purchased a fishing vessel that we were taking out during COVID and um, we were just driving around. You know, the last song on the album, just driving around, you know, that I had found a girl who was just happy just driving around, um, which has kind of been the story of our relationship. Uh, you know, we never put demands on each other. Um, we have hung our hopes and dreams on one another, but never, uh, never made those dreams um, the other's responsibility. We've kind of taken that on ourselves. Um, <clears throat> At a warm grave uh, was written about when my brother came up uh, from Florida to visit. I took him out of my boat, went out to sea in a tropical storm, and uh, it was only a 22-foot boat, and it was it was pretty hairy. Um, but he was screaming at God that nothing can kill him, <laughs> and it was ironic that cancer took him two years later. Um, but it was a cool reconnection. He and I found each other again. Um, Soul for Soul was a song that, um, you know, it was a, uh, I've never heard, I haven't heard too many songs where harpsichords used and sounds good. And I wanted to make it happen. And so Joe and I put this together. And um, the long and short of it is, is uh, it's a very dark song. It's a song about, um, matching your former lover in broken hearts um, 
and uh, what I've always called the casualties of war um, between lovers. It's uh, this album. It's full of hits. <laughs> I'll find my way home. Uh, me and uh, Charlie Hill, my guitar player from Bone Dry System, um, and Joe put this together. Where you know Charlie came up with the idea of a halftime kind of like Love in an Elevator, Aerosmith kind of halftime, and um, but wanted to make it flow way better than Aerosmith did, and I think we achieved that. Um, and uh, Working Hands was kind of my just my homage to uh, to people who are in the trades um, that and tired of being tired um, we don't nearly get paid enough we break our bodies while men that sit at desks go on vacations and uh, paper engineers tell us how to build things that we have to fix um, because they screwed it up it's uh, about working with your hands it's about picking up the tools and everything that goes with it. Um, used to be able to be a tradesman and support a family in the United States, and now you can't. Which is truly unfortunate. Probably why we have so many school shooters and crazy children. Um, it's probably why this last generation is just so fucking entitled to... They just think they deserve everything you have, and they get to sit on their ass and wait for it to be handed to them. Um, they'll remember my name was kind of my um, fuck you to the court system too. It was a uh, you know I'd written the Gravel Church and Plymouth House of Correction for a crime I didn't commit because of a judge's hubris. Um, the man was a liar, drunk, and uh, womanizer. I think he's uh, he's. Also a judge who has a history of having relations with his clerks. So uh, that being said, they'll remember my name was about, you know, I'm going to get out of jail. And you're going to remember who I am. And it's what you did to me is going to come back to, come back to it's going to come back to haunt you in your career. Um, because what you did was wrong. And the story's going to get told. And uh, so, so far, it's just starting to get out. Um, but Prince of Poverty, I hope you guys check it out. Um, it's available on all the streaming platforms along with the Gravel Church. Um, I've got two more albums to talk to you about before I start talking about the process of my next album, Prophets of the Apocalypse. But uh, big thanks to Joe Clapp. He was, he's probably 50% of this record right here, his guitar playing. The guy's just a master of his trade. Um, Dave Leach played bass, and um, Jeff Armstrong from the Delta Generators played um, drums on this one. But uh, I hope you guys check it out. And again, thank you for hitting play. Thank you for being a part of my experience. Um, for letting me into your uh, households with my music and I can't thank you enough um, my whole life I've been searching for family and I found you so thanks